Hey, Bobby. You guys hear me okay? Skeleton, Bren, what's up? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's been a minute, man. You guys are going through some cold weather like I am? What up? We're waiting on Cotton right now. We're doing an evening groom with him. Yep, this is live right now. <laughs> Bobby, have a good night at work. Don't get in trouble. All right, so we are waiting. I thought I'd come on and kind of chit chat. It's been a minute, so see how you guys are doing. A lot of you guys, you know, <clears throat> joining our PJ prayer time. I hope you guys are missing that. I need to get up on that. It was a whopping 33 degrees in Texas this morning. It's been a long day, a long cold day. So, okay, get, we might have some lag. We might have some lag because of your uh, your internet too. How many of you guys having lag? <clears throat> Man, I installed another fluorescent light. So I'm gonna turn this sucker on in a minute and see if it makes, gosh, I, I really like things bright in here, but holy cow can't be, get bright enough maybe I'm getting older so cotton's on his way in I think let me see what time it is 550 I think we got a six o'clock if not we made it the 630 maybe we got this all wrong yeah Laura I got some uh, warm PJs because of you sending me those gifts thank you so much appreciate that they do fit so I had to wash them and all that first and I just finally got to try them on last night and they, they feel great soft snuggly it's freaking cold, you guys. It's very cold. All right, we're looking at some stuff right now. Everybody says they're lagging. Everyone's lagging. Might be these cords right here. Might be some cord action here. Well, it's 1080p, so they're not all No, working. but like the power cord touching or something like that. Might be a little something, something. We'll work, we'll try to work on it. We all lagging, they said. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder what it would be. It's been a minute. Maybe we needed to update something in one of our processors. We all lag it. When I talk, they said my voice doesn't match. The voice. Talk. Honey bee. Maybe it's because of the cold. Brr. For real, right? Brr. The lines are frozen. Maybe it's of the, cold. the lines are frozen. For real, right? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing your evening with me. I'm going to be on for about an hour, I think. There. Oh, thank you, David, for being here to be able to fix that. I would not have been able to do it without you. Thanks, David. All right, um, so he says there's no more lag, so he's got the voice matching the body movement, right? He's good now, they said. Thank you so much, David. See? Yeah, I mean, I don't know everything. Gosh, man. And I take him for granted sometimes. Okay, you guys, um, how are you? How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Could be better. Doing fantastic. Had a great day. Doing like crap. Had a bad day. How are you guys doing out there? Where are you from? How are you doing? If you're not a member, you can become a member by looking at the link in the description of the video. So that way you, your name pops up in green. Uh, it is cold here. Freezing. Can't believe it. We've got some fun stuff. Uh, BD, Betty Dyer, uh, I went to see her. So we've got that coming up. Uh, she's doing good. She's um, coming along. It was a blessing to see her face to face. Betty, are you out there? So we have that. We have a good video that we're editing right now that will come up with that. Um, what else has been going on? 
You guys getting ready for Thanksgiving, you know, holidays, things like that. I'm wishing I was in warmer weather too, but I would say come to Texas, right? It's 30. It was like, it's supposed to be 20, 17 degrees this morning, like 4 in the morning. But something like um, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 centimeters of snow up where Laura's at. Nice. Honeybee, I love you. I hope, uh, you know, I hope you're hanging in there with everything going on. Um, where is she at, anyway? It's so cold. I would not want to be walking any pets out in this cold weather. But sometimes, like, uh, Cotton's mom, they live in an apartment. Yeah, they, they have to walk. I forgot what that's like. I've gotten lazy over the walking of the pets thing, too, so. 80 degrees in Cali? Oh, no. Don't know you didn't. No, you didn't do that. Teasing your little degrees, 80 degrees. Corpus Christi is 80 degrees? No way. I think Houston's like in the 30s as well. That's crazy, right? So if you haven't already, smash that like button. Go and smash the like button. Let YouTube know you like the video, that you're liking being here. You're happy I'm live with you. Liking the video helps us get a good grade with YouTube. And thanks, YouTube, for allowing this content to be out there, allowing us creators to put content out there. We couldn't do it without you, YouTube. YouTube and Google, thank you so much. I love you guys. All right, so we are waiting on Cotton. How many guys have seen Cotton's first video, the puppy video of him being groomed? One of the hardest videos to watch ever. Have you guys seen that? Can I get a hand raise? I have. Have you seen Cotton's number one video, his first groom with me? Can I get your hands up? Anybody see it? If you haven't seen Cotton's, go look in the multi section or hard to handle section of my playlists. Playlists are a group of videos I have put together for you with a uh, title like Shih Tzu or Maltese or I don't think I named it Cotton, but you can look at Maltese. If you're not sure how to find playlists, you can Google, or sorry, YouTube, My Favorite Groomer Playlists, and you'll see my playlists as well as hundreds of other people's playlists that have our videos in them. All right, DT, what's up? We missed gaming with you, DT, so maybe we'll see you later this evening, not sure, but soon, very, very soon. It's about that time. All right, um, I'm still waiting on Okay, let me get her file real fast. Let's kind of go over it. Who saw Cotton's uh, first video? Puppy groom. He's jumping on my back. Wild, crazy, flipping around. It was an intense, hard to watch groom. Have you guys seen it? Who saw it? I have. Who hasn't seen it? I'm, t I'm saying this because if you haven't seen it, I need you to go watch that because you won't understand today's grooming if you never saw those grooming where he came from two, three years ago. You won't understand today if you didn't uh, go back and see that. And I'm not really all up into history, but by golly, if you haven't seen the beginning, this is a great example of seeing how a dog comes around and with the pet parent brushing on a daily basis or so often that the impact is real. This is a great example of a pet parent that did exactly what I asked her to do for the health of her pet. This is exactly the, the way to do it. If a groomer says, I really need you to do this, this, and this, then maybe there's some, there's some facts to that, you know, maybe there's a reason why you need to do that and, and just do it. Put it on your calendar. We got to brush every day, you know. Okay, a lot of you guys saw that video. Yeah, a lot of you haven't because I've, I've out of how many watchers right now, 88, and there's only like 12. I can see yes, raise their hand. So make sure you guys watch that, okay? Let me get her file up, up right back. Are you going to download the, off of the, you need those videos downloaded. So you need to work on that now, you know. Yeah, but you need to go ahead and work on getting that, your phone working. Yeah. Like, do you need one of these hard drives? Okay, but you know I'm right? Here, So I'm all about kind of, um, I really want, like, I think it's such, I think it's something, something in my head, but I'm kind of wrong because, I mean, I have so much going on in my head. So, Cotton's been coming to me for grooming since October 2017. So, 
it's right now November, right? November 2019, so a whopping two years. And man, his first groom was, if anybody can put the link out there, his first groom was crazy. He smelled like urine and everything. He was matted. Um, he was hyper, wild. He wasn't going to let me do anything without a fight. He was jumping on my shoulders, kissing me. He still does that. But at least he lets me get the groom done. Right now, I don't know where you're at, but let me tell you, it is dark here. It is absolutely pitch black out there. And it is only like 5.59 p.m. So it's just, wow, it's so dark. Did I see Betty Dyer come out yet? Is Betty out there? Uh, Claire says, I need a scaredy cut kit and non-locking hemostats. Well, I think you emailed me. Is there any way, Claire, that you can go order it on myfavoritegroomer.com? Just go put the order together on there. It takes so much time for me to build these orders that I might not get to you in time. Go ahead and go build that order on myfavoritegroomer.com. Yeah, you, you, there's some tools that are amazing. The Andis 5 Speed. Can't live without the Zoom Groom. I can't live without the Hemostats, which are non-locking. Toenail clippers. The leave-in conditioner with my favorite spray bottle. There's so many tools. I just can't live. The bristle brush. The Furminators. There's new ones now. They change the style. Um, whoo, Christmas is coming, too. I'm going to hopefully build some kits. Betty Dyer's got some really cool stuff that she has, is letting me sell and some leashes and stuff. I can't wait to get those online. I'm going to hopefully put those in kits. Um, really good, excellent quality stuff. So uh, have you guys seen the nozzle cover? On the, She's made those as well. To cover. If you bought my nozzle, it's going to fit that nozzle. Betty Dyer. Oh, yeah, I did already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he said, tell you guys about the Betty Dyer visit vlog. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to take a lot of editing because there's a lot to it, but it was good. We, we went out there for, um, I wanted to see Betty after she's gone through some things. And as much as she's done for me, I knew I had to go see her. You know what I mean? Where nothing in the world could stop you from making that trip. And so I did. I made that trip to go see her. She has been a blessing in my life and I needed her to know she has meant so much to me she made such a difference in my life so I made a trip to go see her it was it was a it was amazing hey Betty she's here what's up Betty what's up Betty thanks a lot for um, visiting with me and hanging out with me I, I really appreciate it yeah, it was uh, yeah Betty's there Ooh, Ooh, Betty's there we got a vlog coming out so Betty <laughs> He loves Betty. Betty's such a great person, such an angel. So, Betty, thank you so much for everything. Hey, Betty. Honeybee says, Honeybee recently sent me a donation and told me to Honeybee from Australia. And Honeybee's struggling with a lot of things. You know, her parents are not doing well, and she's caretaking, and they're not, like, super-duper wealthy, right? And she still scrounged up some money because she wanted people to really know that she cared about them. So she sent me a donation to disperse of. So Betty Dyer is going to get some money from me. Who else? But, uh, Honey Bee, put on... You mentioned it. Melissa P. She, had a, she, had, uh, she said, designate some money to Melissa P. She told me exactly what to do with her donation. Uh, donate some money to Betty Dyer, for, uh, to Cynthia, I think. You can, you can wrap it up here for me if you want, honeybee. But she sent me an email with a donation and said, Dee, this is what I'd like you to do. And I just think that that is just a miracle in itself for someone to think about other people so much more than they think about themselves. That's amazing. And she knew I would uh, disperse the money because, you know, she's so far out in Australia and just transferring money is like so expensive for her. And even that didn't stop her from pushing out a donation. So, Honey Bee, you're an angel to so many people as well, especially your parents. So thank you for sharing your life with me and with many others that you have come, come to know very well, especially on the gaming channel. So if you guys are watching and you're waiting for me to groom this dog, um, make sure you know a couple things. Smash the like button. 
share the video so we can impact other people's lives with pets that are hard to groom here in Texas especially. Um, talk about us. Shop with us at MyFavoriteGroomer.com or DogUpStand.com. And there's something else. There's something else. Oh, go play Fortnite with us. It doesn't cost anything, so it's an excuse if you don't go join our Fortnite channel, right? So go join the Me and You Gaming channel on YouTube so you can uh, subscribe to that channel. By doing that, when we go live and play together, you'll know they're live, and you can go turn on your Fortnite and join us. So make that happen. That's, that's really how Honeybee, uh, DT, Sophie, Sophie King, all these people from YouTube, our channel here, My Favorite Groomer, that's how we got so close. We game and hang out all the time. I'm so serious. And and some of you guys over there, Arrow Slash, you know, I, I'm, I'm missing some, Alexandria. You're going through some things that it really helps to have other people around, even if it's not in the same room. You can watch and chit-chat or just chit-chat or just watch or download the free game and play with us. Um, it makes a difference. Melissa P., you know, we've really gotten close we have really gotten close with some of our fans, and that's an amazing way to get close, especially like Honeybee. We've uh, gamed so much. Uh, Buffy, Honeybee, DT, Chris T. I, I know you're out there, Chris T. We've gamed so much that we kind of know how to help each other on the team to do things that we need to do. It's freaking hilarious, and it's awesome. So if you don't know what I mean, you're missing out on something. And then let's just say you don't want to really game, but you want to be a part of it. You can sit in the lobby and just chit-chat with us. So if you need that, if you need an outlet, if you need a source of friendship or people that care or caring people, why not? It's free. So go download Fortnite. It's easy. Just go to Fortnite and download it. <laughs> All right. Or in your Apple store. Kathleen Durr. Is that? I think that's Kathleen Durr. I got to go scroll over there. Is that Kathleen Durr's $50 donation? No, she didn't. Guess what that means. All right, so we got to do this donation song, and I haven't done it in a week, so I'm wondering if I know how to do it. Okay, you guys ready? How many of you guys know how to do the donation song with me? All right, so let me see here. Let me get my thoughts together. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. For your donation, Kathleen Durr, to my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I almost lost it, man. You almost had to make me do a double sing. Kathleen, that's a generous donation. I really appreciate it. She has been a serious contributor, so I really appreciate your, your generosity. Thank you so much. She has bought um, the dog up stand to, for giveaway. She has bought the small brush kit for giveaway. She said, Didi. You're my family, and whatever I can do to help you be successful and grow, she's contributing. So, Kathleen, I love you. Thank you so much. I love our quick phone calls when we get them in. So, thanks for being a value person in my life. I really appreciate it. All right, so, where is she, man? If I've got this totally wrong, then we've got to do some lessons or something because I don't really know how to chit-chat for hours. Okay, let me check my, let me check the schedule. She might be running behind. Holy, she didn't forget. Oh, I gotta check it here. Oh, I don't have a keyboard over there. Gosh, I went over there. So I moved. Remember, I told you I gave my keyboard away. Man, don't give your keyboard away. I'm all about giving stuff away, but that was a bad move on my part. That was a bad move. Gave my keyboard away, so I said, We need to set up over there. I'll borrow my other keyboard over there, and I just went over there to play with the keyboard. It's missing. You got another one. Oh yeah, it's a six o'clock. Let me see here. Let me ask her if she's on her way or I mean, maybe I'm gonna go you headed here. Alright. I saw another donation by Melissa P. Okay, so you guys Lilu the cat, Dana and Lilu Lilu the cat, you guys ready for this? Let's do it together. You guys sing along, okay? Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Melissa P. To my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that last part, man, it just really makes you laugh a little bit, doesn't it? Thank you. Woohoo! That's awesome. 
What do we got going on? Eva, see you later. Okay, she's running a little bit behind here. It's 6.08. But I understood, you know, maybe... Well, maybe she was going to... I don't know. I don't know. I think she forgot. Is that better? Mm -hmm. that brighten, did, did that light brighten it up? I put another fluorescent light Dude, up there. you were so bright in that corner. <sighs> Not bright enough. Where are you going with that? That comes apart, so... Oh, that's real... That's really bright now. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Did Kathleen just do another donation? Oh my gosh. No, she didn't. Kathleen, you're too much, man. Wow. I'm working on it, and I still got to get plumbing for the washer. They're sitting in there. I got the electrical. Are you kidding me? Ran. No. She said washer and dryer. We're halfway there. More than halfway there. Tell her I that gotta get the plumber out here for that washer. The only reason you don't have And I gotta finish off the because, event. Because you don't have the hole for the No, I, the washer though too is not the plumbing oh, for yeah. the washer is not we do done have yet. The washer and dryer here. So much to it. Okay, oh, here we, we have go. The electrical done already. I got the electrical done. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go, Kathleen Durr. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Kathleen Durr, to my favorite groomer. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Woohoo! Thanks. That's awesome. I think though, a lot, you know, when you watch gaming channels and the donations that come through to gaming channels, everyone pitches in and it goes on. Brrr. Crap, she's... Oh, okay. Hold on. She's not showing up. Did she forget? Yep. I guess you can do question and answer now. Okay, so she said, so, oh, last night, last night, oh, no, oh, there. yesterday, 2.30 p.m., I said, you know, confirming your groom, what are you doing? Getting you close over here so you can start reading the chat Oh. to do question and answer. So I said 2.30 yesterday, confirming, she said yes, and tonight, 6 o'clock, I said, you headed here. She says, crap, I'm just headed home. Can we just take him next month? <laughs> yeah, I said, I'm good. I said, okay, no problem, but I went live for you, oh my God. Laugh out loud, and we are all waiting, and I came back here, oh my gosh, for a 6 p.m. groom. <laughs> I'm going to tell her, just tip me. When you have a no-show, that's, that's your income, isn't it? Right? I'm going to tell her, bring me fried rice. Oh, my gosh. Why not? These, these people are like your family. Hopefully, they're like your family. I mean, mine are. My clients are like my family. I'm going to tell her, bring me some fried rice. Straight from Taiwan. Here we go. <laughs> she goes, so sorry we had a late meeting. So I said, okay, just give me fried rice straight from Taiwan. <laughs> we'll see what she says, man. Oh God. Hey, Callie, man, I miss you. I have, I have some personally handwritten letters coming you guys this way. Okay, so just wait for it. I got Cynthia over here inviting us to dinner. Mmm, chopped beef. Let me see here. Oh, what's that? Okay. So now we have just some special time together. Wow, I'm so sorry that she didn't show up. See how see how it can work? She just confirmed yesterday. Still didn't didn't it didn't trigger her tonight. She forgot all about it. Um and uh actually today's confirm Aw thanks Melissa P. Only you would understand. Many of you understand. If you have an appointment type of scheduling, barber, hairdresser, 
you know, all kinds of stuff when that person doesn't show up, right? Uh, that's your income, you know what I mean? Have you guys prayed already? No, Callie, we haven't prayed. <laughs> Callie's all, you needed some prayers? Okay, I don't like turning my head like that, so I don't really like the position of the camera, but we'll make it work. So, now we gotta do a Melissa P. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Zoe sent us a donation too. I better get on this. Okay, Melissa P first, you guys ready? One, two, three, thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Melissa P. To my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, before, before I lose track of where I'm at, Zoe says, I've started watching you a couple of days ago and I'm obsessed. Keep doing what you do. Definitely a fan. Zoe, thank you so much for your donation. Some of you, including Betty, I could not believe. I said, Betty, did you see that video? She goes, no. I said, did you see that one? We were talking, right? No. I said, you see that one? She goes, no. I know you have not watched all of my videos, but I need you to because you're missing some really good stuff. So go to my channel on my, it's called youtube.com slash my favorite groomer. Click on the logo. Click on videos and scroll down, way down, and go load more, slow way down, load more, all the way to the beginning, and start watching from the beginning, so you can see where we were, and where how far we've come, and all the dogs that we groomed before, and some of them how they have passed away, or moved on, or we are still grooming them, and you got to see the beginning groom to the end, how it is now. Um, some of them are very, you know, emotional and atta atta you get attached to them. So I know some of you guys are just starting to watch my channel. And some of you guys have been here for a year. If you've been here a year, I don't think you saw what happened five years ago. So go dig deep, okay? Now, we've got to do Zoe's song. So you guys ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Zoe. To my favorite groomer. Woohoo! Woohoo, that's awesome. I did miss her last name though, because it already left. Zoe Rivers. My dog recently passed away and it's really difficult. Miss K Moon. I had um, done some intimate times with my dogs that were in their transition as well. And you can find those by like typing my favorite groomer Duke in um, the search engine for YouTube and you'll see you can probably really um, It'll touch your heart uh, with what you're going through right now. And if you also go to myfavoritegroomer.com and scroll down to the very bottom of the page and go to pet loss, you can read Duke's story. When you're really sad and you've lost your pet, these are great times to read these things because once you begin the uh, next phase after you lose your pet, you're gonna start healing and it's really hard to want to go back and revisit the pain so you don't you won't want to continue crying you know you'll get packed to a you'll get to a crossroads where you are starting to recover and once you're on recovery like it's really hard to go back and and even if forever even if the rest of your life one trigger can make you just ball um, looking at a picture of your pet that passed away or hearing him on a video or her you know uh, it can be like that, even though that that moment still may happen. You will, it will be hard for you, in my opinion, to go back and really connect with videos of the pets you lost because I, I'm just, I, I would be so, it would be so painful for me. You know, it's been really hard. That's been a difficult part of it. So I'm really sorry for your loss. Losing a pet is one of the hardest things you'll ever, ever, ever have to do because your pets are so loving, unconditionally loving. You never have to yell at them, tell them to cook. Tell them to put the seat down on the toilet. You're never having to do all that, right? They just love you. And if you make a mistake, they love you for no matter what. So if we could just do a little bit of that relation in our world as humans, I, wouldn't that be a better place? It may not be perfect if you were to accept people with all their faults. and all. If I told you some really bad faults that I had, would you still love me the same? Would you still love your husband the same? Would you still love your wife the same? Would you still love your kids the same? And it's really hard to do, but I challenge you to try to incorporate that in your daily walk, okay? All right, so what's a, uh, yes, con constant triggers right now. All I do is cry at the moment. I will go watch those videos. Thank you, Dee Dee. 13-year-old, my boy Max. 13-year-old, my boy Duke. I lost him. 15, my, my boy Suey. And I had a Sally for five years. She hit 21 years old when she passed away. 
and um, serious losses. So uh, we'll never see life the same. You will never see life the same after you've lost your pets, you know. So we all have been, and many of us have been there, so. Yeah, Kathleen just lost her pet, too, and she went out and she found a new partner, didn't you? Oh, gosh. It's really hard to love people equally. As soon as you hear somebody's done all sin, if God looks at all sin the same, no matter if you did that or you did that, can you imagine looking at that sin, that really, really, really bad one, and then looking at that very, very light one and saying God has to see it all the same? How could it all be the same, you ask? And then to accept all his children as one and doing the, you know, if I don't let you do that, I can't let you do that. If I don't accept you for this, I can't accept you for that. So imagine having that weight. It's really hard. So if you can do that, I think it's amazing. It's a miracle in itself. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go a couple more questions. Do you have any, any questions? Maybe I should make, make sure, maybe I should do questions to those people who answer questions that are right. And then you get the question to ask. Hmm, what do you want to do, huh? What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Come on, what do you want to do? If you could go on a vacation right now, where would you go? Where would you guys go? If you could go on a vacation right now, where would it be? Tell me where you would go. Yeah, I'm still helping Cynthia out. I think it's about time. I think she, we're getting to a point where I can, uh, I think I, I think she could stand up on her own. I, I say that, but, um, the other day she was moving the recycle bin. She couldn't hardly remove the recycle bin to the uh, corner. And um, it makes me wonder like if, it, if it's, it's ready yet for her, for her to be on her own again. You know what I mean? Um, just kinda, I try to talk to her about it and tell her to please let me know. You know what I mean? Like kind of, I need you to let me know. Uh, we can't mind read, can we? Jamie would go to Hawaii. Jen would go to Mayan ruins. Uh, you mean Mayan ruins like Puerto Vallarta or where's, where's Mayan ruins at? Isn't there a few? Um, Puerto Rico, you miss Puerto Rico, especially the weather right now, Zoe is Puerto Rico's weather great. And after the hurricane and everything has, how has Puerto Rico been doing? England, Japan. Ooh. Good day, everyone from Australia. Shez, what's up? Fleas are horrible, Dana. I can imagine, man. Where would you go? Northern Lights and Finnan. Mayan ruins. Or Jen said, Mayan. Where are the Mayan ruins? Can you put that out there? Bali. Do you see the tickets for Bali, man? They're like $2,700. Didi, come to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Hi, Shez. I'm also Australian. Yeah, you guys should connect for sure. Be safe about it. I would go to Ontario and Minnesota to visit family. Ah, Disneyland. Which one? Okay, wait. Disney World is in Florida. Disneyland is in California. Okay, okay, okay. Forgive me. Arizona. Arizona. What's in Arizona? If you could go on a vacation right now, where would you go? Ah, it's so cold here. If it's cold here, I know it's cold in the vast of America right now. The economy is awful. It's 87 degrees. I'm in Maryland. It's 15 degrees. Oh, the economy is horrible there. Did they repair stuff? Like, is there tourist, tourist side repaired enough for incoming? For, you know, to, because I think that tourism helps them build that economy there. How's that doing? We have, we have a really great supporter in Puerto Rico. She orders her tools from us. Hawaii. Gwendolyn says Hawaii. Maya sites located south of Tulum in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. Ah, I was looking up Quintana Roo today. Like, um, Quintana Roo, I think Progreso or maybe, um, what was I looking up? Like different parts, places I didn't know. The tourist is really good. Oh, that's good because I was really afraid that that, that needed to be the first part of repair, right? Because they wouldn't have any income, generating any income to repair the island if they didn't get their tourism area up and going. Tootsie wants to swim with the piggies? Where do you do that? I don't know if I would swim with any piggies. I don't know about that. Would love to visit friends. 
Yeah, right. Can you imagine doing a road trip visiting friends? How cool would that be? Well, I'm going to about wrap it up, you guys. Um, I'm in Michigan, 30, 30 inches of snow last night. I'm heading to Disney World on, on Sunday. Wow, you are going to love the difference. But you can catch a cold, so make sure you have your on guard, okay? If you need some on guard, man, order some. I don't know if I'd visit DT then. DT at Buffy watching with DT. Hey, Buffy! I don't know, DT and Buffy, if I'd come out there and visit you if it's 12 degrees. Mountain or beach, if me and my smoky dog could go with the old man and two grandson I've been raising for 11 years. So have you been raising your old man? I, I think I understood what you were saying. Shez, the cruise sounds exactly right. It sounds exactly like what needs to happen, a cruise. Now that would be awesome. Wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Cruise. Have you guys been on a cruise? Who's been on a cruise? I used to try to go on a cruise every year. Um, but there was a couple years I took a couple year break. So in all, I think I've been on nine cruises. It's the most affordable way to have a vacation. Your room and board and the taxi ride is all included. Especially if you're coming out of Texas. We gotta work on that. Our super fans, stronghold fans, dedicated fans, loyal fans, would you be in, would you actually book a trip? Would you actually book a cruise? Yeah, we, we talked about this, huh, Callie? If you guys would actually book a cruise, I will get one going together. What's my favorite stress reliever go-to thing? Oh my gosh, I probably need a stress reliever now. Uh, I've worked, I work too much now. It's a uh, that place you go to, that is? Oh, oh, I don't know if I should tell them though because then they might go there and try to look for me. Because oh. then I'll be. Well, just talk about it. Oh, yeah, okay. Just say what it is. Wait. There's only one. Never mind, don't tell them. This is Secret. a very intimate thing. Only our top fans that are members. Oh, yeah, are you a member? Is she a member? Is she a member? <laughs> I can't tell you guys what I... Honey Bee knows what I do. <laughs> she said? Yeah, she goes, Honey Bee goes, I know that place. <laughs> <laughs> I know that place. Look at this. What is this with the blue? What is that? Oh, that means they've been a member for like over six months. Oh, that months. blue dot? It's a diamond. Oh. Really? It yeah. says my favorite groomer logo with the blue diamond? So first you're... First it'll be one star, two stars, three stars, and after three stars it turns into a diamond. And then the next one nobody has it yet because they haven't been nobody's been a member that long. Wow, that blue diamond is pretty cool. You guys are with the blue diamond. Wow, look that at you guys have, go. That means they have a lot of months. So what I'm gonna do is I, I I'm gonna pull up the blue diamonds. You guys are getting a gift from me. Look, see, the next symbol is at 12 months. Member 11 months. Does that say 11 months? Yes. Okay, you guys, blue diamonds are getting a gift right now today. All the blue diamonds on this feed. Melissa P was the first, the first member. So let me see how long she's been. On. So Melissa P, let's look up hers. If you're on this feed and you're a blue diamond member and or a higher, I'm giving, I'm sending you a free gift on me. Uh, we're gonna eleven make, months is the highest. Yeah. So Melissa P and Honey B are on the eleven months. Kelly too. Kelly's at eleven it's months. Kathleen Durr too. Kathleen Durr, you're at seven months. You're gonna get something from me. Kelly's at ten. I gotta make a list then before the feed's over. So become a member. See, five months has two stars. I love them blue diamonds, huh? Woo! Them blue diamonds. You guys see that? There's a little logo with a little blue thing on top. That's a diamond. Mm -hmm. So if they've been a member a certain amount of months and you guys are growing, don't worry. You'll get some gifts. Don't worry. The next one is at 12 months. So whoever doesn't have 12, 12 nobody has 12 months yet. So the next, they'll see the next one. Yeah, yeah. So isn't that cool? If you're on this feed, I'm going to send you something if you're a Blue Diamond member or higher. Ruth says, I want a gift. Am I a diamond? No, Ruth, you're not even a member. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ruth, you're not even a member. You're, uh, the members' names are green. <laughs> you can become a member by going into the description, and there's a link for being a member. <laughs> Betty Dyer, thank you so much for your donation. Oh, my gosh, are you serious right now? All right, here you go. Let's do it, you guys. Let's sing for her. Ready? Everybody across the world. 
Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Betty Dyer to my favorite grower. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, Betty. You're the best. Thanks, Betty. Oh, Buffy's a blue diamond, too. Buffy's a blue diamond? I'm here. I think I've been here from the start. I think so, too. I think you guys all did it, like, back to back. You remember that? When we, we, when we got the option to become, open up a membership. So I always tell you guys, man, if you're a member, it, it, it's worth it. And um, YouTube is, if you don't know and you're not happy about us having a membership program, let me just let you know, the fact is that all creators can have a, a membership program. Uh, you, there's some criteria that you have to meet first, but if YouTube didn't want to help us get bigger and grow and be popular and have our own channel and do things that that viewers like you guys are going to love then they would have never put that out there for us to be able to use so because youtube and google have made that such an awesome thing the donations are right there you can click the link and donate or if you want to be a member all this is just little things that youtube and google have done for each channel creator so if you want to be a channel creator go at it go have fun with it but that's why we have it available to us. It helps your channel stay alive, literally, okay? So I think I, I missed something. Someone became a member. Oh, Janine Little. I do see a member here, though. I saw a member situation. I'd be too poor to be a member. Oh, Claire. You know, um, Betty Dyer. Okay, I just don't, don't want to miss Janine Little. Janine Little, let's do this. Let's do the song together, everybody. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Janine Little, to my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know, man. You guys singing the song with me? You're not leaving me blank, right? Oh my gosh, Callie's done. Callie's done a donation. All right, you guys, back to back. Are we ready? Together now from all over the world. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Callie. To my favorite groomer. Woohoo! <laughs> Does it make you laugh? It makes you, it makes you like feel so laugh and be silly. Okay, you guys, I was watching some gamers, and let me tell you, they get so many donations, they can't even say thank you to everybody. So it, it's just like, brrr, the donations are crazy. We should totally go watch those channels together. You might be going, oh my gosh, this one guy, what was his uh, goal? Uh, uh, one million. One million? His goal was one million in 12 hours. One million dollars in donations in 12 hours. I was like, oh, wow, you know. So, uh, to plant trees though. Like it was, wasn't it? Yeah. To plant, how much was it going to plant trees though, did he say? If he got a million dollars, he would plant 20,000 trees. Okay. This gamer said, if I, pl he had a feed going. You, if y'all don't even, hundreds of YouTube channels are out there, not just mine, right? You guys know. Well, different channels do different things, and you can if you do live, you, you can get those donations. You can do fundraisers and uh, just a goal amount that you want to raise. And then that gamer, he was doing one million in twelve hours or something like that. I might have it confused, but one million dollars. And if he made it in twelve hours, he was gonna plant twenty thousand trees, and he did it. He surpassed it. I couldn't believe it. Like amazing, amazing how many people donated for that for his feed. So, isn't that pretty awesome? Okay, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up. What do you say? It's 6.30? Uh, you miss a lot of I miss a lot of people. What do you mean I miss a lot of people? The members? Did, I don't see the members, though. They're I clicked on the member thing. The and green right here. Oh, yeah, but I, click, I clicked on it. So, hold on. Let, let, let's see. I clicked on it. See? Weird. Let's go here. I told you it was weird. Kim Richardson, thanks for becoming a member. Woohoo, awesome. And then we have another one, Zoe Rivers, thanks for becoming a member. Woohoo. Now your name will be green. And the longer you're a member, then different um, symbols. symbols will appear next to your name so we can kind of see how long you've been a part of the membership program. And I try to do, you know, members really help our YouTube channel. 
So I tr really try to do some uh, d different stuff with the members. And as it's growing, YouTube is letting us have more ways to do things with members only. Um, I don't think a lot of you guys saw, like, the, did the we didn't open up that video part four. Yeah, we did. We opened, you opened it up it's to the public? Only. No, it's members only. Yes, yeah, members only. So, how do they see the members only chat? Community tab. Okay. When they become a member, they can go to the community tab and they'll see videos. So, you guys hear that? So, if you're a member, I really need you to research a little bit inside my YouTube channel. And look around. Know where it says videos, playlists. Community. community so go to the community about. you I about you know like watch all look at all these buttons you know and click on them know where and I say where the playlists are know when I say where the videos are go to videos and look are there any planned coming up it's like gray it'll say premiere it's coming up that means we're gonna watch it together but if you are a member you should know these things you should want to know these things because you're paying for a membership so in the community tab under the YouTube where my logo is under my channel you have to go to my channel for anybody that you're a membership with you go to the community tab a lot of you didn't see that part four of the training with the firefighter part four went out for members only so if you didn't go watch it man you're missing out part four was huge education so we made it for members only a lot of things you couldn't learn anywhere else that I talked about and showed so if you're a member go watch that video it's under the community tab and then get into the habit of like what looking at the community tab to see if I'm talking about anything some of you members are not looking at that and we can see Lee Rowley has the diamond too Lee Rowley has it will you make a list yeah, I okay I'm about to close out so make a list of the diamonds diamonds um, blue diamonds and above are gonna get a gift from me and thank you for being members thank you for being members for 11 months that means a lot to me that's like almost a year consistent membership for almost a year I really appreciate it thank you so much you guys mean a lot to me all right so we also see I seen something happen let me go here okay puff and fluff okay you guys here we go thank you for your donation thank you for your donation thank you for your donation puff and fluff dog spa to my favorite groomer Oh my gosh. Oh my. I, I had to look back so I wouldn't mess it up. Because if I mess it up, I gotta go back and re sing it. This Puff and Fluff Dog Spa. Woohoo, that's a bit of a shout out, man. Someone could now go Google Puff and, Puff and Fluff Dog Spa. You know what I mean? Someone could go Google that now. Hello. Alright, you guys. I think we might wrap it up. What do you say? You wanna wrap it up? Any last minute things? I'm always like, yeah, last minute. My dogs are howling. Honeybee, I can imagine how you sound right now. I'm like, Decta, I got my, I'm all ready for, i am got my feet covers on. Cotton didn't even show up. Got my feet covers on. I have to reuse those now. Got my smock on. It's freezing, so I had to wear, you know, heavy clothing in and then change so I'm not sweating while I groom. Uh, oh, you need a prayer. Okay, thank you for doing it. Look at it, great. Um, yeah, you guys all need a prayer? What time is it though? 6.37? You want, we'll do a quick prayer, but uh, let me try to do PJ prayer time tonight. You want to do that? You guys want to get together for PJ prayer time in about four hours? Can you answer why there's no more live feeds? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do want uh, PJ prayer time. Yes. Okay, you guys. Uh, live feeds have changed a little bit as I change my schedule. And we are playing around with how videos are uploaded. And sometimes I, I want time off. So it might be the live feeds are affected by all those things. Especially as we are getting into November and December and January, which are the holiday months. Uh, if you want more live feeds, then we can also, you know, make sure you, well, you guys make sure you smash that like button. And you share. I know when you're sharing. And follow donations. And follow on Facebook. And make sure. And Instagram. There's a lot to do, you guys. So we might change things up if we don't get enough of that participation. And some of the things that happen, like other channels have done, which I may follow suit, is that you try to grow certain avenues of your social media. So go, you know, join the Instagram, go like our Instagram, follow our Instagram, I mean. Uh, like the Facebook business page. And what else can you guys do? 
there's going to be certain, and there already has been downloads or uploads to Facebook page versus YouTube. So you play around with all your social media. So make sure if you have all of those, if you don't, it's fine. But if you do, why not? So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure you guys are all loaded up there. She's got them all. Yeah, uh, thank you, Buffy. I think we all need a break. I think that uh, maybe you guys don't know I work a lot. And what's behind the scenes is uh, very challenging. Uh, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And being that there's only me and sometimes David uh, working then you can imagine how much is really going on, right? How heavy that can be for somebody. So it's very stressful. Um, so that affects everything. All those things affect the live feed, the amount of live feeds that go on. We all miss your live feeds. Do you? Let me know. Let me know how, you, how much you miss the live feeds. Let me know so I can feel it and feel like I, I need to do these live feeds. You got to let me know. Make sure I know that that is, uh, you know, how you feel. Okay, so let's do a prayer time, and, and maybe I'll see, okay, tonight if I do prayer time in like three or four hours, you may not get a notification because we already went live today. We all know that that's kind of how it works. So if you're feeling like you wish there was a PJ prayer time and you want to check, remember, go to my YouTube channel, my dashboard, go to videos, and see if I'm live right now, okay? All right, you guys, let's do a prayer. Does anybody have um, really something heavy going on? How are you guys? Any, anything really heavy that you might miss PJ prayer time later and you need me to talk about it now? We're all here to hear your issues and um, I think PJ prayer time is a better place to kind of say more intimate things about what you need prayed about because here on just regular feed sometimes you get negative people on there that are not as clear and as trustworthy and as kind. You know what I mean? Okay, I haven't been on much. Things have not gone well, but I finally have a surgery date, December 2nd. So, Lee Rowley, I hope you're doing okay. Blake has a tumor on his face. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute here. Queen of Sofas, Blake has a tumor on his face and is having surgery soon. Are you kidding me? What? What? Uh -huh. Is it skin cancer? Sadness around the holidays. Is there, um, wow, I need to write this down. Blake, surgery, Lee Rowley, surgery. Pray for Kathleen, husband, dementia. Oh yeah, Kathleen, husband's been struggling. He's got some financial problems. I have kidney disease stage four. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing your guys letting me know that you guys are missing these live feeds. I'm, I'm feeling it. So let me tell you, when I go live, you have to contribute, okay? If I start doing that, and because it's bra it breaks me, it's a lot of work. Uh, it slows me down. It's a lot of work. I tell you guys this stuff all the time. You guys have to contribute. You have to make it worth it. Is that a deal? Is that a deal? <laughs> you got to make it worth it. Keep an eye out for the live on her dashboard. Thank you, honeybee. Honeybee knows the deal. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Sadness around the holidays. I re really need a pray, prayer for a poodle. Like you need a poodle or your poodle's sick. Been working hard to pay for his surgery. Oh gosh, Queen of Sofas. My mom is battling breast cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. This is a lot of stuff going on. Isn't it? I, I have kidney, kidney disease stage 4 out of 5. Having surgery soon for dialysis, and I'm 26 this month. Oh, Jamie. I'm so sorry, Jamie. Let's praise God for all the prayers that he has answered. Thank you, Buffy. <laughs> hint, hint, Buffy. Need a poodle and know how to give it a lamb cut. Oh, my goodness. Addiction problems? Oh, wow. That is so true. Educated guest Educated Guest Podcast. That's a podcast, people. Go check it out. Pray for everyone. Okay, God, um, we're going to talk to you right now. We're going to beg you. We're going to ask you to come into each and every person's life that wants this prayer said for them, that can feel that we are all together and we are all holding hands even in the distance. And we want to ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to come into their life 
and really just heal the, some of the pain that is going on, whether it's loneliness, whether it's cancer, uh, whether it's trying to make money to pay for all those things that are going on, whether it's dementia. God, there's some of us here really struggling with some things. The struggle is definitely real, especially when it comes to medical costs. And what are we going to do now? And how are we going to afford Christmas? God, you got to make this happen for everyone here. We know you can do wonders and you can blast a miracle into each and every one of us. I am so grateful for the changes you've made around me. And I know you can make those changes around the people here. As we are strong, tightly knit community that have come together through dog grooming, God. This is so amazing. And through you, they found me and we created us. All the hurt souls, the constant drive of not knowing the right decision to make, the addictions that pound on our door, the fight of every hour, not wanting to succumb to something that addiction can pull you into, whether it's drugs, mental illness, alcohol, decisions, any kind of drugs, God, we are really battling those, aren't we? The world is really battling those. God, please be with us in each step of the way. Those having surgery, please protect them. Sur surround them with your Holy Spirit and your love. Bring them out of that surgery. If they have to go through dialysis, please give them the strength. Thank you for all you do for us. Lord, thank you so much for us having this wonderful life, being able to share so much of each other from so far away. Gosh, how times have changed. Thank you for our YouTube channel, and please protect it and keep us all safe. Amen. All right, you guys. I hope you felt that prayer. I hope each and every one of you praying with me felt it. Pull that energy for someone else to give them the energy to go through what they have to go through. Some of you guys are struggling with some seriously heavy stuff. I need you to know your life matters. Okay, your life matters. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. But your life matters. It's of value. It's valuable to me. If you're feeling like you want to commit suicide, there are 1-800 numbers for that. All you have to do is Google it. Get on my YouTube channel. Comment on the videos. Get involved. Go to our Fortnite channel. Play Fortnite with us. Your life is of value. If you are struggling with something, let us all try to help you. Pray for it to be gone. Okay? And if you're about to go through surgery, I really give you the strength to make it through and overcome those things. Overcome it. Come out better. You might have to, you might have to, you know, get better afterwards, but come out. Come through it. Okay? We got you. Oh, Melissa P. Melissa P. What are you doing? Melissa P. Okay, we gotta sing one more time. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Melissa P. To my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woohoo! That's so fun right there. Melissa P. Oh my gosh, you're too generous. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Each and every one of us is not perfect. We go through many struggles. Our day may not be what it seems to be. But if we can make it through it, if we can get through it, it might be a whole nother place at the end of the road. You might get to do something different. Go somewhere else. Go accomplish something. You just have to get through it and don't give up. Don't give up. Push forward. Push forward hard. With the right people around you, you will make it. I don't think you can do it alone. I can't do it alone. So with you people like you in my life, it has made it a very amazing place. God has made this an amazing life. All the troubles and all the successes, they all mesh together to make this world life. Okay, you have to go through it all. But to come through it is, is really a key. Get through it. We'll, with the closest of us will be there when you come through, whether, no matter what happened, no judgment. All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing my channel with me. I apologize that she did not show up tonight, so 
We'll see you all next time, next round of grooms. And I have taken note, you guys are missing the lives. So deal, we'll contribute and we'll all be participating and stuff like that, smashing the like buttons and all that stuff. And thanks for sharing, those of you guys who are sharing, who are always supporting me. I really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. All right, I love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Watch out for that PJ prayer time, okay? Love you guys. Bye. See you. Where's Arturo, man? Where's Arturo? Arturo. You gonna join in? All right, see you later tonight.